Hey guys, what's up? It's Kevin from Relax Learn Guitar, where I teach folks over 40 how to play the guitar so they can relax and have some fun. And this is day one of our Start a Guitar series here on YouTube. Maybe you haven't played guitar for a while, or maybe you're just picking up for the very first time. So I've put together this series of lessons. We're going to play about 15 minutes a day for the next seven days, and you'll be able to learn how to play the guitar. <laughs> So thanks so much for taking the first step to playing. I really think you'll like it. If you're, um, you know, concerned that you may not be able to play the guitar, you're never too old to learn. So folks in the Relax Song Guitar membership are proving that every day. So this is uh, kind of the very first lesson and what I would teach somebody if they were meeting with me for the first time, like on a one-on-one -on -one lesson. And I really wish I'd known some of this when I started. In this lesson, I'm going to show you the two easiest chords to play on the guitar. And then we're going to use those to play your first song and learn that song in under 10 minutes. Before we do the lesson, I'm just going to go over the parts of the guitar. So you kind of have an idea of what all the different parts of your guitar are called. And we'll start here at the top. We have the headstock. And this is also where the pegboard is, uh, the tuning pegs that you turn to tune the strings on your guitar. This is the neck. You got the body and you got the bridge. The neck is also, you know, the top of it is the fretboard. So you're going to hear a couple of things. You'll hear uh, the nut of your guitar. That's this white piece, uh, usually plastic or ivory, at the very top of your neck. And then fret wire are these pieces of metal that are embedded into your fretboard. And uh, we're going to talk a lot about frets tonight uh, on this lesson and numbers. And I just want you to know a fret is actually the space in between these pieces of wire. So when you hear fret number one, that's anywhere in the space between this nut and this first piece of wire. Fret number two, right here. Fret number three, and so on. And a lot of times you'll see a dot on like an inlay or some type of um, circle, square, whatever. On the third fret, the fifth fret, the seventh, the ninth, and the twelfth fret usually has like two symbols on it. And that's just to help you kind of keep track of where you are on the guitar. A lot of times you'll also see dots here on the side of your neck. So when you're looking down, you can keep a track where your hand is. And then you have obviously the body. This is the sound hole, pick guard. It's an acoustic guitar. I play a lot of acoustic guitar, but you can also play electric guitar and everything is called the same. And then obviously the sides and the back of your guitar. Now let's talk about the strings. Uh, the strings are numbered six through one, and the sixth string is this big fat one here, the closest to you. So this is a sixth string, fifth string, fourth, third, second, and first. First string is the teeny thinnest wired string. So again, six through one going down toward like your foot. I do a lot of numbers to, in this lesson. And the frets again are fret one or fret number one, two, three, and four. And we're going to talk about our fretting hand now. So index finger is numbered one, middle finger is number two, your ring finger is number three, and your pinky finger is number four. So we've numbered our strings, we've numbered our hand and our fingers, and we've numbered the frets on the guitar. So we're going to put those all together to play your first couple of chords. Now a lot of what I teach is uh, strumming songs and kind of singing along. I think learning songs is the best way to learn the guitar. A uh, chord is simply putting together uh, two or more notes to make a chord and you fret those chords here on the fretboard with your fingers. So the first one I'm going to show you is an E minor chord. Kind of sad sounding. It's in a ton of songs. Um, Gosh, everything from Pink Floyd, Metallica, um, it's in the key of G, we can talk about that later. But a very common chord, a good one to learn. So we're going to start with our index finger, remember it's number one. And we're going to press down on this fifth string on the second fret. Now a couple of things to keep in mind. Pay attention to where your thumb is. A lot of times people kind of wrap it around here like a baseball bat. And you'll see my thumb peek up just because my hand's kind of big. But you want your thumb to be on the back of your neck here so you can get some good pressure. And you want your wrist to kind of stay in a straight. You don't kind of want to give it this. You're going to get 
super tired really quick and get some pain right there. So you want a kind of a straight there. So your index finger is pressing on that, that fifth string second fret and you want to get kind of close to this fret wire we were talking about earlier. The closer you are to that, the less pressure you have to press down with. So you want a nice arch. And then the second note of this chord, you're going to use your middle finger to press down on this fourth string, also on the second fret. And you're going to play all six strings for this chord. Play each string one at a time. See how sad? But you want to be able to get that a nice clean pick and then strum and then pick. So make sure that your fingers are nice and arched and you've got your thumb in the right place. Pick and make sure everything's clean. You might get like a, may get some buzz going on. You got that going on. Like stop and correct that so that you're not buzzing. Or if you've got some dead strings going on, you might be uh, touching that string with kind of the fat part of your finger. And you want to fix that and then strum. Now the cool part with these two chords I'm showing you is everything's going to happen here on this second fret. And everything's also going to happen with just two fingers. So that's the E minor chord. Now we're going to play a D6 chord. Let's we'll call it that for now. You're going to lift up your index finger and move it up to the sixth string. Remember that's the big fat one at the top of your guitar. Press down on this, that string on the second fret. You're going to lift up your ring finger or your middle finger and go down one string here to the third string and also play that on the second fret. So you have this. You're also going to play all six strings. Pick, strum, and pick. Again, pay attention to your arch and you're going to press pretty good into these fret, into this fretboard. And this might be a good place to pause the video and practice fretting those chords real well and then changing them, which can be one of the first things that people might have trouble with when they're starting to play guitar. And if they sound kind of weird, you might need to tune your guitar. So you can click right above here to get the lesson that I've done on how to tune your guitar. But get really good at pick strumming and picking those two chords. And then we're gonna put those together for our first song. If you strum down on that E chord four times, one, two, three, four, nice and slow and steady. I always tell my members, learn it correctly first, quickly later. Speed will come with time. Two, three, four, change to the D6. One, two, three, four, change to the E minor. One, two, three, four. Change to the D6. One, two, three, four. You know, that's starting to sound familiar to people, but that's kind of the beginner version of Horse With No Name by America. I've been to the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to get out of the rain. That kind of thing. One, two, three, four. One, two. So your homework should be to practice those two chords to where you can get them nice and sounding clean. You can pick them through with them ringing out nice and clear and changing those nice and smooth and just strumming four times down on each one. If you can do that, you're pretty much going to get that uh, song right under your belt right away. Join me for day two, where we're going to learn um, three chords that we're going to be playing throughout the rest of these lessons. You can get that day two lesson 
by clicking up above or also checking out the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you guys in many more of my videos here. I will see you guys for day two, tomorrow's lesson in our guitar starter series. You guys take care. Love.